For those who are not aware, Brendan Schaub's biggest dream is to host Saturday Night Live because he grew up watching SNL, dreaming to only host it one day, which by the way, will never happen. But guess what? It was announced that SNL sets Shane Gillis as host after firing him for racist jokes in 2019, which means Shane Gillis is living Brendan Schaub's dream. Oh, what a glorious day. Now, here's the thing. We're going to shortly watch a video clip, a compilation of Bapa saying how his lifelong dream is to host SNL while basically shitting on Shane Gillis, talking about the moment when Saturday Night Live refused to hire Shane or actually fire him after coming under heat from cancel culture. Brendan Schaub thinks that's not the reason why he was fired by SNL. No, no, no. You got to wait for the clip to find out what Bapa truly thinks about Shane Gillis. Someone said, "When if, would you rather win the Super Bowl, be MVP, yeah. or be on Saturday Night Live? I'd pick Saturday Night Live. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, I just oh, sure. But my 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 heart and my passion was Saturday Night Live. Mm. I was obsessed so with it was SNL. SNL, Robin, my mom would, uh, every Saturday we'd watch SNL, and she always had me watch Robin Williams, so... She loved comedy. She loved it. That's where I got my humor from. My, my, my mom always gravitated towards me doing, you know, uh, acting and uh, comedy. And, uh, you know, Saturday Night Live was like our North Star. Still is. Still my golden host. Like that Saturday young, night. she was... That young, it was Robin Williams. My heroes growing up were Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler. And then on... It's not the... It's all right. It's yeah. fine. I Truly, I never, like, thought I'd get SNL or, like, wanted it. Right. So it wasn't like, oh, my dreams are destroyed. Right. It was you a know? surprise. It was just like, oh, shit, nice, I got something. And they're like, no, you don't. I was like, all right. <clears throat> Back to what I was doing. Yeah, he kind of doubled down. If anything, he should, I, and I've said this from the jump, he should have been fired for having a bad podcast. The problem is it wasn't funny, and it was like reckless, and I get it just wasn't funny. All right, wait here. Brendan Schaub saying Shane Gillis should be fired from SNL because his podcast isn't funny. Oh, really, dude? Shane Gillis's podcast isn't funny, Brendan? I mean, after all, he makes a joke. He doesn't even repeat it a few times like you, Papa. Nor does he touch his co-hosts repeatedly to make sure they heard it. Shane doesn't punch down on any uggos. He even respects people with disabilities. Totally not funny. It's anti-funny exactly. Oh, Shane doesn't have a fun news segment where he hilariously looks deadpan at a screen full of internet news, making boring, ironic comments. Like, does he even keep up on current events? Does Shane even understand satire? And what about a catchphrase on the dicey dicey or did you have fun though? Or bean cheese level. Again, Shane falls short all the time. Brendan's just greater. And by the way, how many pods Podcast does Shane even have? Has he never heard about quantity over quality? Oh, and how many times has Joe Rogan had him on? Four ish? That's right. Shane Gillis is a total civilian pedestrian. I guess Shane Gillis ain't got the best brains in the business. That's your narrative, Papa. Oh, but he's going to be hosting Saturday Night Live. Oh, not to forget, Shane Gillis doesn't even have his black belt in podcasting. Brendan Shaw not getting the jokes on Matt and Shane secret podcast is pretty funny. Papa wouldn't know funny if it held him down and made him its girlfriend and forces him to wear toe holds. And just imagine how terrible Brendan Schaub would be hosting SNL. Joe Rogan replacing Brendan Schaub with Shane Gillis on his pod is the best part. Brendan will text him and ignorantly congratulate him on his residency at SNL. Joe Rogan will be the only one who can convince Papa he's using his word wrong. I could already hear Brendan ask Chin, hey, did you see Shane Gillis on SNL? And Clint, of course, would answer, nah, man, I missed it. I was out at dinner. I heard he did good, though. What else you got? I swear I'm betting the house on that. And then after the cameras are off, Chin's gonna get another neck cranking. I swear Bapa will definitely say something like this. Uh, have you seen SNL lately, Chin? I couldn't tell you a single person who watches it. It's just not as popular as it used to be. But good for 
him. Which is not technically wrong. But you will sense the jealousy and hating in every word. Shaw will totally downplay it like he just did with ESPN. Remember, he said ESPN is failing, a sinking ship. Now he's going to say nobody watches SNL. Joe Rogan had to put in a clause to let him release his podcast on other outlets because Spotify is sputtering to its doom. All of Brendan's North stars are just simply failing because they didn't let the big papa do their marketing because we know Brendan Job is a marketing genius. I believe Lorne Michaels called Brendan last week, begging him to host an episode of SNL, and Schaub turned him down before even Lorne Michaels got his question out. Oh, I can't do it, Lorne. Can't miss any more of Boston's games. I can't do it. Give it to Shane Gillis, bro. We'll be good for his career. And of course, Lorne Michaels understood. He probably grabbed Bapa and kissed him on the top of his head. You know, it's interesting to watch Brendan Schaub and Shane Gillis's opposite career trajectories. Hell, Brendan could be selling out theaters, but uh, Tiger has a baseball game, B. Especially on Saturday nights. Between T-ball and district attorneys getting recalled, there's just not enough time in the day for Bapa. SNL has been begging him to host, but he just doesn't have time. Say less, B. And the true question is, how come Brendan's career isn't doing so well? Shane Gillis and Theo Vaughn's careers seem to be doing really well, but Brendan's isn't. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. Papa got shadow banned. The machine got him, killed his career. Oh, and he has kids. Remember, he has to blame it on them, too. Oh, and the fish. And being balls deep into trucks now? Don't forget the dogs. Wait a second. Show dogs. My bad. And the bearded dragons. Anyhow, let me know what you all think about this whole situation. I'm happy that Shane Gillis is going to get the opportunity to finally host SNL. It should be a great show because SNL has been going downhill for a, quite a long time. So I'm pumped for his spot on SNL. Shane Gillis definitely deserves it. And Mr. Gillis, if you would, please, 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 please do a sketch as, uh, I don't know, a P.F. Chang's fry cook on break. It would be funny on so many levels considering how you got the boot. And I'd like to ask all of you a huge favor before I leave. If you would hit that subscribe and like and also push the notification bell, man, I'd appreciate it so, so much. Thank you. But for now, I'll see all of you in the next video.